a little bit about your background and how you got started doing this. Absolutely. So I did not graduate college thinking I was going to be a resume writer. In fact, I graduated college thinking I was going to be the next Katie Couric, but that was several years ago at this point, so she was the big wig at that time on air. Um, my background originally was in broadcast journalism, so always strong with the writing, but very comfortable on air, so this is a nice throwback. Thank you very much. Um, and I was working up at NBC and ABC in Manhattan. Truly loved the work, I really did, but it was a pretty toxic culture, and that was not ultimately where I felt my strengths really were gonna shine. So, and I wanted a stronger culture and a better work-life balance, so brilliantly went to work in an investment bank. I did not work on the banking side, no one would ever trust me to do that, but I did work in public relations as well as recruiting for Lehman Brothers. I was there during the good years, had nothing to do with the uh, explosion of the firm uh, back in 2008, but while I was there, I noticed a trend. People hated what they were doing across the board, from the C-suite all the way down to the analysts we recruited, and honestly, I wanted to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So I left, went back to, to grad school, finished up my master's um, in educational psychology, and started Refresh Your Step uh, in 2008. Got to be known very quickly for the resume writing piece uh, because I just already had that, that background in writing, understood the psychology behind resumes, of course, and then grew the company to include LinkedIn and then overall job search strategy. So that's how I got into this. So yeah, you don't want people to look at what you do or what they should do as just writing that resume, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot to it. So tell me about that. Absolutely, and great question. So the way that we tend to look at it here at Refresh Your Step is that all the elements of your job search, your professional documents, and your career growth, they're connected, ultimately quite connected at one major nexus point, and that is your accomplishments and measurables, what we refer to as your pattern of excellence. What differentiates you from others is your impact. And so we, of course, try to gather that information for your professional documents, resume, cover letter, LinkedIn, bio if we're creating one, a portfolio if we're creating one, which is common in the marketing field. And we really try, that, try to connect that back to, again, what is your pattern of excellence? What are your accomplishments and measurables, quantitative and qualitative? And then make sure not only are they in the documents themselves, but that you can speak about them uh, in your interviews as part of your job search strategy, as part of your negotiation tactics to, of course, make more money. Uh, and so we really do tie it all back to pattern of excellence.